Welcome to Shorty Supercoach, and uh, Shorty's back on the floor again, as you can see. Can you believe it? Uh, laptop screen, smashed again. It's been a tough few days for Shorty. Uh, Shorty's flat. I lost Supercoach Draft Grand Final. Lost it to Langers. Very disappointing. And uh, Saturday night, ripper night, had a housewarming here. 20, 30 people, great night, heaps of fun. Had the lights off, had the disco lights on, the smoke machine going off, and uh, then one of the ladies tripped over the speaker. I played the music through my laptop, and fucking bang. Went full bar and pick it on my laptop, and uh, smashed the screen. So here I am, just recording on the floor, using the TV as the screen, so uh, yep. Anyway, I'm doing this one late. Um, I thought about doing it Sunday, but, you know, got home from work late, was pissed off by losing draft, and couldn't be bothered doing it through the TV. So here I am. Apologies about the late video, but, uh, yeah, I'll dive into my team. But, uh, yeah, there'll be no live session this week, unless I miraculously get my laptop back really quick. Don't know if that'll be the case. Um, but yeah, look, Supercoach Draft, I had the worst week of the whole year for me. So, it's extremely disappointing. Um, yeah, I was real hopeful that I could come away with a win. Langer's had a really solid week, and he's been a really consistent team. So, you know, credit to him. But, yeah, look, I don't think the gods were on my side. I lost Witherden. Grundy didn't come back. I lost Aaron Hall to COVID, Jade Gresham, and Stephen Keneally, I was a late out. I tried Badandis to replace him, but look, I got pumped. And in the end, I think I'm happier getting pumped because if I lost by 60 or 80 points and felt like if I had a couple of those premiums, I maybe would have won, I think I would have been kicking myself. But it just didn't align. It, it didn't line up. And look, I, uh, I was furious yesterday. Oh, fuck. But we're coming to terms with it. We're coming to terms with it. Um, yeah, look, I mean, it didn't align. I had the worst week of my Supercoach draft just when the grand final happened to be played. But last year, it was almost the opposite. I had one of my best weeks. So that's the luck of the draw sometimes. It's just, yeah, what can you do? But let's dive into Classic. I even pissed off about my Supercoach AFL mod one. I lost by 20 points. Fucking Zach Merritt. So I'm knocked out. Honestly, Zach Merritt can go fuck himself. But look, I had a good rise rank. or Yeah, rise in ranks. Up a thousand spots. Solid score. I'm happy with that in Classic. And I'm hoping, you know, six out of nine league wins. I'm happy with that. Hopefully a couple of those win some key finals. So I was pleased with that, and, and look, I'm hoping that I can have a good last three to four weeks and, and still, you know, break that top seven, eight thousand, or who knows. But let's have a look at the team. It was great to have Tommy Stewart back. Sinclair really solid as always, and same with Ridley. You know, he's never going to pump you out of 140, but he is solid. Crisp had a stinker, so did Short. They're really starting to be absolute headaches. I'm not going to trade them because I've got one trade left, and I'm just going to use that as... Um, absolute backup in case someone goes down. And Pendlebury was solid, not great. Obviously, I'd prefer Hewitt in there, but, you know, it is what it is. That back line is struggling, no doubt about that, but I'm just going to have to ride it out. I'm not in a position to trade, so you just hope that those guys pick up a bit of form. Um, Laird and Miller went bang. Obviously, I put the VC on English, and it was a clear-cut decision to not go with the 79, and then Miller went massive, which was awesome. So... Oliver had a down week. He's not back to his best after that hand injury. But Petrarca certainly was great. I was absolutely wrapped with that. Neil, solid. McRae, not his finest, but it was a pretty tough day for the Dogs after a good start. And Brayshaw tore it up as well. So Masai got off to a good start with that Friday night. And Cripps was back in a big way as well. So a lot of people were thinking about trading him. I hope you held on to him. Darcy, rock solid. Which probably hasn't been quite to where he would like. You know, those early rounds, probably first 10, 12, 14 weeks, he's amazing. Probably last six weeks, not as good. But still, 85's nothing to sneeze at. It's okay. 
Bonson Pally, he's been good since um, bringing him in. Not his best week. Parker, just another medal. He's been fantastic. English, I touched on. Duncan, you know what? I, I thought there would be a slight dip in his scores with Stewart returning. 86 is okay. Taranto, started the game well. Um, yeah, the Giants are just so damn frustrating. So, so frustrating. Hard to get a read on them. And Dunkley was great. So, um, but yeah, overall happy with my classic team, but I also can't help but feel very disheartened by Supercoach in general because I really geared myself up to win drafts. It's uh, where most of the bragging rights land for me. I do love my draft. So to be bundled out of two finals in a week, very disappointing. I'm still alive in one. I can't help but feel a little bit unlucky in the AFL moderator one. Um, But it is what it is. Supercoach, you can do a stack of research, and I do. But you just can't always account for being beaten by a better team or just the stars not quite aligning on a given week. So, um, yeah, Shorty's flat, very flat. But uh, let's dive into my leagues, and hopefully a few of those league wins were top eight finals. And I really hope I won my bragging rights um, final to stay alive in that. Let's have a look at how we went, bragging rights. We won. Won comfortably as well. That's good. That's good. Spooky Mookie got me by eight points. Oh, fuck me, man. Fuck them hell. Fuck this shit, honestly. Oh, good win there, comfortable. Got him by ten points, the black custard. That's brutal. That's brutal. And I had a loss there, a tight one there. So I remain alive in a few... And then, obviously, you've got those other ones there that um, got bundled out. But let's let's have a look here at um, bragging rights. So, obviously, that was a knockout final. And I'll move in to play Lipper, get a dipper, who, um, you know, obviously finished second there but went down. So that'll be quite interesting. Wish me luck there, guys. And... Um, how about this one? This was surely Supercoach Original, the first one. And I think I just snuck in, did I? Oh, it's a consolation one. Well, let's not get too excited. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, who, who doesn't love a consolation win? That's okay. How about this one? Is the top eight one? Nah. Shorty's just uh, playing in the twos here. Just playing in the twos, guys. I think I made the top eight in this one. Nah! <laughs> just a fucking consolation specialist, hey? Come on, give me something to be happy about. Uh, hey! Eight speech fifth. Don't you love it? So Shorty's taking on the number one guy who surprisingly lost by five points. That is savage. So I'll have my work cut out there, but, um, oh, losing to Spooky by eight points, that's brutal, eh, that's brutal, but, um, yeah, look, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys, sorry I can't go live this week, but, uh, just, just been a 48 hours to remember, eh, but, uh, now I'll get this one up pretty late by the time it all is all said and done, um, and then I'll do my tipping video and have that scheduled, and I'm just hoping to have the laptop back by sort of Thursday or Friday and then do the preview. But, you know, this time of year, there's not too much we can do with trades or anything like that. I can really just wish you luck and hope you did well on your uh, your finals and hopefully you've still got enough trades or an emergency trade, you know, just if you need it. But, yeah, I hope you went well out there. I'll talk to you all soon. And hopefully Shorty's uh, feeling a bit better in a few days' time. But um, thanks for tuning in. Cheers, guys.